What's up? Sorry, I'm a couple of minutes late. Um, got just about ready to go and then realized that uh, didn't have a battery in the camera, hadn't set the focus because th these lenses are manual focus. Blah, blah, blah. Right. Okay, so what we're doing uh, today is uh, in last night's uh, Live stream, Live Austin stream, uh, we went through this in a little bit of detail. It wasn't the logic project. Hold on a minute. Let me, let me get my shit together. Dun, 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 dun. Right. Okay. Here we go. Hi. So hold on. I need to push the camera thing in. Far. Shazam. Am I backwards? Is this now backwards? Who cares? So, um, yeah, so we had a little look at this song. Uh, Liv is releasing it on a uh, temporary basis. It's going to be out for like uh, uh, maybe a week, I think. She's uh, letting people uh, be able to buy it. Uh, but the, I listened to the version of it uh, that, that we had, and I did not like it at all. Like The mix was horrible. It sounded like super brittle. Uh, let me see if I can um, do do do. Uh, see if I can find. Uh, look at all these mixes. You go first. Ten. Sorry if it's a bit loud. Oh, no, you won't be able to hear it because it's uh, not coming through the system. So, yeah, as you can see, the 18th of April was when we last uh, uh, last looked at this. And my, my uh, mixing skills have come on some way since then. Hang on a second. Right. I I had a bit of a chaotic thing. I forget that I don't have the run-in, don't have the intro. Fashion be late. Yes, hello. Hi, Paul. Hi, Lib. Hi, Alex. Hey, Mr. Brown. Uh, Flux. I forget everyone's usernames and what, who they actually are sometimes. Right. Okay. So, all looking good. Hello, 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 hello. It's lovely to see you all. How is everybody? Um, does it look a bit dark? Hello, Eowyn. Hi. Wow, she's going to love this. Um, not. Right, so here's the, here's the uh, mix from three years ago, April 2017. So, yeah, that's, uh, that's three years ago. Shocking. Already I'm hearing that acoustic guitar is brittle. Pretty smashed, as you can. Your big brown eyes tell me come here, but it's so hard to decide. The vocal already is sounding quite sibilant. All those S's uh, are like very like that's not uh, very enjoyable. And uh, I think the drums are a bit bit bright as well. So hard to decide. And that clicky acoustic guitar that's there click 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 is all. It's all a bit sh uh, a bit. A bit shrill. Just imagine if it's all in my head and you rejected my kiss. I swear I dropped it. So would you give me something I could work with? Just a little sigh. Cause I just want to know you think I'm worth it and not wasting my Yeah, so it's a bit bright and it's a bit, uh, I don't know, that Liv, Liv's voice doesn't have a great deal of weight to it. Um, so it's all a bit, just missing a bit of meat, which is which is what my mixes three years ago sounded like. Um, 
I kind of got a little bit carried away with brightening things up unnecessarily um, because it suddenly sounds more exciting, but it's such a bad idea. Because if you keep listening to this loud, to me that's kind of uncomfortable. Um, it's a little bit rough. <laughs> Fireman Sam is the backup plan. Fireman Sam may be finding himself gainfully employed, I, I think. Um, the fairy lights are twinkling, Liv. Yeah, the reason for that is is that um, when I had it on constant, they were kind of flickering anyway. Uh, right, yeah. You so you got the current mix, right? Oh, yeah, I'm gonna send. I'm gonna do the new one. Right, I am. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna whiz through. I'm not gonna. Um, I will check on the chat uh, every now and again. Um, so feel free to ask questions and so on. But what I'm going to do is really get into this and try and get a good sound, uh, get a good sound going. So let's get rid of that and let's listen to. So what I've done here is I've taken quite a lot of the plugins and stuff off. There is, it's not back to basics because that would be pointless, but it's pretty close. Okay, so first up. What the hell is going on there? <laughs> Right, so um, so this guitar is already uh, sounding a bit, a, a bit dull. Yeah, so we don't really need that. Um, there's a nice EQ plug-in. Oh, that's the one. No, it's not. That's the old one. Feels like a Sunday. Right, okay, that's quite nice, but it's a little bit of a, a lonely sounding intro, isn't it? It doesn't really grab you because it's completely dry. And I think rather than a reverb, let's try a slap back. Fancy a bit of slap. Tickle it with a bit of slap. Um, can I just, hang on a minute. I'm not showing you logic, am I? What a dumb dumb. Bang, there you go. Sorry about that. Thank you in the chat for letting me know. <laughs> you don't really want to just be looking at my face while I'm doing that. That makes no sense. Right. Um, okay, I hope that's better. Dun, dun, dun. Let's give it some chorus. Let's give it some width. Whoa. Not that much. It's a bit weird, isn't it? Let's try again. a little bit more of a vibe about it but let's oh I've got an email from Liv Austin don't need it found it so that's the original a bit more interesting so 
So let's just work down. What we've got, the way the project's laid out here, is we've got the vocal at the top. These are all, uh, hold on, let me get, we've got the vocal here. These are all BVs, guitars, and a bit of synth, bass is here, and then drums are all down here. Blue regions are audio, so it's a real drum kit, but we've got some sample re sample uh, replacements in here too. Um, bum, ba, dum, bum. Okay, where are we? The acoustics sound good. Of course they sound good, man. Can we also... Yeah, Tiago's on it. Hadley, have you got something now? Can you actually see what you want to see? Well, I'm looking at it, so <laughs> you, you must be able to. Okay, so back to the guitars. So let's just... I'm going to leave the vocal for... I just do it in what order things start. So here's the um, acoustics. We've got two... Two uh, acoustic guitars, uh, both um, playing the same thing, or should be playing roughly the same thing. One's on the left, one's on the right. So rather than EQ them both, uh, create a track stack. And now everything is on here. So we can uh, now just do one set of EQing for this. So I want to use that same EQ plugin for these. So I'm going to take, just copy it over here. Command and Alt and drag it. Yoink! Ah, no, that doesn't work because it's a mono plugin on that channel. So I have to load up a stereo version. Never mind. Bit much, maybe. Or what about if we give it some air? Can you hear okay for when I'm talking over um, when I'm talking over the music? Cool. Glad you can see it now, Paul. <laughs> squish to like bring a little bit of a uh, bit bring a bit of energy into them um, this might be overkill Sounds okay, it's a little bit grungy. See what it sounds like when we're playing a bit harder. Some dodgy comping going on there. Uh, you can see, good. Hello, right. It's so nice that you're all here. Thank you for coming. Let's see how far we get. All right, so we started just after two, so we're gonna try and get this done by 3.30. If we don't, we don't, but, you know, we give it a go. Okie dokie, right, so... Pretty meaty. I don't want to do anything with that just yet. Right. 
so hard to decide to let go of fear cause just imagine if it's all in my head and you rejected my kiss i swear i dropped it okay so i am thinking that is a bit sibilous uh, sibilant um so what i'm doing here with the vocal is we've got the lead vocal on this channel it outputs to a bus which is this bus here so you can see here that it goes from uh, the output is bus 10 this is uh, input is bus 10 here so what i do is put my effects on the bus which allows me to automate um uh, how do I explain this? Uh, so I can automate the uh, the vocal channel without affecting, uh, whilst affecting the com compression. So for example, if you put a compressor on here, you will be asking the compressor to work with this l kind of quiet level and this very loud level because this vocal is extremely dynamic. So the vocals are not probably not going to, um, the compressor is not going to work very well with doing working in such a wide range so i'm going to automate the vocal automation means like volume control like uh, automatic volume control so for example this one let's do it very roughly all right we might just pull that down so it automatically drops the volume that is then going to go into this master bus um, the vocal bus here and we'll be compressing and doing all the effects there rather than doing them on the vocal <sighs> right okay so first up let's have a your look. big brown eyes tell me come here but i have to do something about that um sibilance first um luckily we have the vice dsa which is brilliant your big brown eyes tell me come here but it's so hard to decide to let go of fear, cause just imagine if it's all in my Tricky. Starts to get a lispy. Imagine if it's all in my head and you rejected my kiss. I swear I dropped it. That's better. So would you give me something I could work with? Just a little sign. Cause I just want to know you think I'm worth it And not wasting my My time So you can hear it gets loud So um, <laughs> That's not volume automation That I've done there is it That's something else Okay boink volume Ah Super I'd already done it I can hear it in the other room. Hi, Liv. Hi. <laughs> She's in listening in the other room. Uh, okay, right. I'm going to crank this baby up. So firstly, let's get a little bit more level out of that with an LA2A copy plug-in. The sibilance coming from the BVs. Okay, let's uh, mute the BVs. The BVs are all going to the BV bus, so I can just mute them all like that. I 
apparently not. Well, they should be, but they're not. <laughs> Hang on. BV1L. So it seems to have tamed the uh, DSing a bit. <laughs> Can you add in a speaking section for me? Uh, I'll talk to Liv. Um, okay. Vocal needs a little bit of uh, a bit of something, something. Certainly needs some EQ. So let's have a look at that. Big brown eyes, tell me come here, but it's so hard to decide to let go of fear. Cause just imagine if it's all in my head and you rejected my kiss. I swear I dropped. I'm gonna try a different compressor there, actually. Let go of fear, cause just imagine if it's all in my head and you rejected my kiss. I swear I dropped it. I think we'll have this on expert mode because I am an expert. Where I dropped it. So would you give me something I could work with? Just a little sign. The vocal is a little bit lispy. Now the DS is doing what it needs to. I just want to know you think I'm worth it and now wasting my, my time. Give me, give me, give me, baby, give me a clue. Okay, we'll see. Um, let's turn on the automation because that might make life a lot easier if I already, already got it. Worth it, and now wasting my my time. Give me, give me, give me, baby, give me a clue. Am I completely crazy, or do you feel it too? I've grown to care too much, and now I only feel the worst. But I'll tell you how I feel about you if you. Okay. It's funny doing this because I, I, it makes me uh, feel like I have to justify every, uh, everything I do instead of just messing around, which is how I normally do it. Which is like, oh, let's just try this, let's just try that. I feel like I'm, I feel like the weight of the world on me. I'm just going to get on with it. These are a bit boomy. Nice edit. <laughs> Those guitar parts, they are most definitely uh, um, candidates to be redone because I think we, this is kind of the demo uh, that never got finished. Um, hmm. 
I would redo these. All in my head and you rejected my kiss. I swear I dropped it. Dugga, dugga, ding. Where's that? I swear I dropped it. Would you give me something I could work with? Just a little sigh. Right. Delays. You know where I'm going. Also. so quiet there let's turn them up I uh, could use automation but it is just a bit easier to do like that give me, give me, give me. I can't really hear the second note But line to sound just as good as it can. What's happening? The way you're mixing lives vocals would differ to someone else's voice though, right? Like EQ sibilance and stuff. I need to work out what my voice, for instance, needs. Correct. Yeah, of course. Yeah, we'd definitely do something different um, on the voice. Um, it's not a moronic question at all. Um, yeah, Liv, Liv's voice can be uh, a little sibilant, um, depending on which microphone we use. Some people don't have any sibilant. I do, because I've got uh, like a tooth that sticks out. So sometimes sometimes I'm quite sibilant. And it, it really just depends on your teeth and uh, the structure of your mouth, really. Um, so, yeah, it does depend. Same as you use a different microphone for different singers. Um, hello? Oh, look who it is. Hi. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, it's Liv it's Austin. Liv Austin. <laughs> brought me a coffee. We have a coffee for you. Look at that. Fancy. Yeah, this is my latte art for you. Look at this. And I'm moonwalking away. Thank you so much. Loving it. Bless you. 
<laughs> That's the kind of service we get here. Oh, God, I don't really want this. Cappuccino. So, yeah, so for Liv's voice, um, her her voice can be, um, has quite a lot of presence, around about 3, 4K. That beep, so that, that can be quite, um, uh, I don't want to say piercing, but certainly certain parts of her voice up there can, needs a little bit of control here. Um, but yeah, it's very much, very much depends on the voices, of, of course it does. Um. I feel like her vocal needs a bit of uh, a bit of space on it, a bit of um, effects. Um, Valhalla, That's vintage verb. I love this reverb plugin so much. Probably don't need a hundred percent though. Would you give me something I could work with? Just a little side. Cause I just want to know you think I'm worth it And not wasting my, my time Give me, give me, give me, baby, give me a clue Am I completely crazy or do you feel it too? I've grown to care too much now So that it's quite a long reverb, but it just it kind of sits there under it. You don't really hear it in the track. You'll hear it. Tell me, come here, but it's so hard to decide to let go of it. Cause just imagine that is, it. that is too much. You feel. Tell me, come here, but it's so hard to decide to let go of it. Cause just imagine if it's all in my head and you rejected my. So here we've got a discrepancy now where the vocal, the guitars need that um, a delay and a bit, bit of space, I think. And I think the vocal uh, benefits from it a little bit as well. But that means that the drums, which are very dry, no reverb, uh, sound a bit weird. Tell me, come here, but it's so hard to decide. And now I'm starting to think about what, what I'm doing with this in general. Like, what are we going for? What kind of a... Uh, what kind of a sound are we after? And I, I'm, I'm thinking maybe something a bit more, a bit more epic, a bit bigger. Basically, more reverb, more reverb, more delays, um, and ting. Right. Um, let's look at the drums. So. Tell me, come here, but it's so hard to decide to let go of fear. Just imagine if it's all in my head and you rejected my kiss. I swear I dropped it. So, would you give me something I could work with? Just a little side. Cause I just want to know you think I'm worth I don't mind putting reverb on the whole drum kit. I know sometimes. Uh... You might not want it on the kick, but I I kind of like it on the kick, and you can always get rid of the uh, really low rumbly stuff, which is a good idea. But it it adds a bit of length to the and a bit of space uh, to the to the whole drum kit, so no problem. Now there is reverb, I'm going to put a little bit of a squish on it as well. Technical term. Um, I hate the way Logic lay lays out the plugins. You have to think of the manufacturer. You can't just group them by compression, delay, or favorites. You can't. There's absolutely no way of doing it. It's manufacturer order, alphabetical. They, they need to sort that out. Right. So I've been using this uh, on drums. 
it was it's one of those plugins that I, I don't really understand it but it does do something nice when you smash a drum <laughs> drum kit through it So it's essentially got a limiter. It's got an EQ section here and it's got a compression, compressor limiter here. It's not really doing anything there. So that's obviously doing too much, but we can blend in some of the dry signal here, which uh, will get rid of some of that. It's very revealing of the reverb characteristic as well. So um, it's making me wonder about the shape of the reverb. He's got a bit of like a kind of beach ball. Do you remember those, um, what are they called? Um, the bouncy balls that had the little horns on that you'd sort of sit on and uh, what are they called? What are those things called? Space hoppers. It's got so the kick drum sounds like a space hopper now. Go boing. It doesn't sound like a space hopper, but it's it's very compressed, but it is an exciting sound. So let's hear it in context. something horrible going on there so it's bringing out a nastiness in the um in the cymbals and hi-hats but i don't know if it's on those microphones or if it's on the snare mic or something like that so would you give me some this probably is the overhead So when you can, so basically all of the drums, the the kick drums are all the different kick mics, and the samples go to one bus for the kick, the kick bus. All of the snares again go to the snare bus. Everything else then goes to a, a, um, a rest of kit bus, and then that goes along with the kick and the snare buses goes to the kit master. So this is just the master volume, and that's all all I'm working on at the moment. Um, so, that room mic was sounding pretty trashy. Playing going on there, dum pa ta ta. Is that actually what you played? That sounds nasty. Right, let's clear off this snare bus. Reset, because there's I've already got some stuff on there that's not, and it's not really working. So would you give me something I could work with? <laughs> Instantly sounds better. So would you give me something I could work with? Just a little side. Put the snare. 
snare does need a bit of a... I'm going to make a send with a Valhalla on it. Um, boink. Let's see. Let go of it, cause just imagine if it's all in my head and you rejected my kiss. I swear I'd... Bright, yes. Let go of it, cause just imagine if it's all in my head and you rejected my kiss. I swear I'd draw dead. Something I could work with Just a little side So when we put um, When we put reverb on a bus Sorry, on a send um, So this is the snare bus Which is a, a sum of all of the snare microphones And the samples um, So this is the snare bus here um, Rather than putting a plug-in on the channel We're putting it on, this, on a send um, and then we could go to another track anywhere and also send that to the same bus, which was AUX15. Uh, so we just have one reverb unit and we send multiple tracks in varying amounts uh, to that effect. So, and then we control the... So what'd you give control the uh, vol how much of it we send using this. So this is now the reverb for the snare drum. Would you give me something I could work with? Just to there's still there's still some on the kit master. Um. So would you give me something I could work with? Nothing. So there's no point uh, trying to guess how much to put on it out of context. It's only really useful. Uh, you have to listen to it in context. But this, for me, this is why I like to put compression on the whole drum kit, like if I'm if that is a sound that I want, before worrying about the reverbs. Because as soon as you put compression on, uh, put compression after reverb, the uh, dynamics of the reverb will change completely. So, um, your the snare hit will drop the compressor, and then it brings out the trail of the reverb. So I don't spend too much time faffing about with uh, reverb settings until I've got the compression settings that I want and then I just and then they kind of interplay um yeah give me something I could work with just a little side cause I just want to know you think I'm worth it and not wasting my oh toms the toms need it as well mm -mm -mm -mm. I'm starting to feel interested in this now uh, oh, the reason I'm doing it in the mixer window here is that you can highlight multiple channels and then put the sends on them all. Boink, boink. Um, I keep them highlighted and then you turn them up. Something weird is happening there. I think it's to do with these. If you listen, you hear the drums. When the drum part changes, suddenly the sound f kind of falls apart. You got that tambourine uh, and whatever else is going on, that percussion that's just getting crushed. Um, you can hear it kind of go <laughs> instead of. It's getting destroyed because the percussion microphone tracks are also going to the drum bus, which is being smashed at the moment. So that's being set for like to make the kick and the snare sound good. Well, that's what we're trying to do currently, but it's now messing around with the um, percussion tracks, which are recorded separately. So uh, let's send these to a bus of their own. Um, that's 15. Right. So that appears here. It says AUX 16, but it's bus 15. Create track. Bang. There it is. So now it's here. We can label this up. Um, percussion. So now hopefully this will sound... Oops. 
It's not bad, huh? It is better. So good. What is going on here? Why have we got four tracks for... What's that? I'm guessing these are supposed to be stereo pairs, in which case, maybe this will be good. Yeah! It sounds a bit slightly phasey. I'm just going to check that the... Um Okay. Do we need the room? I don't know if we do. Let's get rid of it. Okay, right, so um let's chuck some someone's soaring outside. Hopefully you can't hear that. Okie dokie, what's going on? Techno to country, interestingly. Da, da, da. All right, see you later, Alex. Cheers, mate. I'm just going to uh, pull that blind down. How are we doing for time? Wow, it's been 50 minutes. Ridiculous. Okay, let's do this. Let's do this, right. Um, let me just check on how the stream is going. Uh, looks good. Oh yeah. Um, that's better. Stupid camera. Bloody hell. Okay, uh, I'm gonna put some reverb on the uh, percussion bus. Tell you how I feel about you. You feel it too. But I'll tell you how I feel about you if you. I don't love the sound of those crashes. the sound of this very much now I feel like I'm losing losing all control of it okay 
Let's go back to the start. Your big brown eyes tell me come here, but it's so hard to decide to let go of fear. Cause just imagine it. Sounds like there's too much reverb but in the verse. Give me a clue, am I completely... And too much in the chorus. So let's pull this back a bit. Give me a clue. Oh, big brown eyes, tell me come here, but it's so hard to decide. To let go of fear, cause just imagine it fits all in my head and you rejected my kiss. Where I draw a day. So would you give me something I could work with? Okay, we need to DS these BVs. Um, soft tube. We can go pretty heavy on the DSing on these because um, because it, we don't need. It doesn't matter if they're a little bit lispy. So would you give me something I could work with? Just a little sigh. Cause I just want to know you think I'm worth it. And not wasting my, my time. Give me, give me, give me, baby. Give me a clue. Am I completely Okay, so guitars need to go out to the sides. That will help. Um, tom panning, yes. That would help. Um. I'm about to burst Keeping this from you I'm on fire tonight For way too much red And I'm afraid that I might Say something I regret So could you let me know if I'm in Okay, uh, do you ever find yourself mixing a song that you really don't like? How do you keep cope hearing it over and over again? That's a good question. Yes, it happens. Um, hmm. I don't know. I how do I? I think I think it's necessary to an extent to kind of fall in love with every song. Or for me, it is to fall in love in some way with with the song uh I'm working on like there's always something to enjoy um I would I will say that it's not lives music uh that I ever look at and, and don't enjoy mixing sometimes I get frustrated with my own um limitations and I wish I could do a better job I'm like what what what, what is it I'm trying to do here what, what how can I get this to sound better um but uh, most often what I get frustrated with is the performances, like the, the actual recordings, if there are timing issues or pitch issues, uh, particularly timing, because uh, pitch is easy to fix. I mean, you can, you can fix it all uh, to an extent, but that's not really, um, that's not very much fun. It's quite time consuming. Um, 
hearing it the thing like the way the brain works is like we enjoy repetition we enjoy it when we hear something over and over and over again um we start to it's like you might like kind of hate that song and then you keep you keep hearing it on the radio like dance monkey do you remember that dance monkey song dance monkey dance monkey dance monkey oh 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 that the first time i heard it i was like this is trash <laughs> i was like this is terrible this uh awful um and uh but then i heard it enough times and i'm like like you start to like it it's like stockholm syndrome um what else? Uh, so yeah, you, I just I just plow plow on, <laughs> plow on. Just keep doing it. There's always there's something enjoyable intrinsically about um, spending time on something like this. Uh, so you're like, how can I make it work? So there's always there's always fun. It's like doing a puzzle. Sometimes you know you might it doesn't really matter what the picture on the puzzle is. Just it's just a case of like finding the pieces and getting them in the right place. Um. Reminded me of a very, very long time since I had the patience for mixing. Sounded good. Yeah, it is. It is. It is trying on the patience. It's especially weird doing it like this. I remember now, as soon as I started doing this, I was like, oh, this is why I haven't done this for like two months. Um, anyway, it's starting to, for me, it's starting to sound all right. I've had reservations about the drums, but that seems to be kind of fixing itself as we fix other things. I, so we've got half an hour. I, my So let's compare this to the uh, original mix. To me, that's very clear, a very clear improvement. Like that, it's got this, uh, the old version. It's very, very focused, like me. Um, whereas sounds much closer warmer um i could turn that up comfortably and enjoy it still instead of being like Ugh. So now I'm thinking I need to automate the backing vocals because they are a little bit up and down in terms of their levels. Um, and not only their levels, but where they need to sit in relation to the lead vocal. Because um, sometimes they're, they're kind of rich harmonies that sort of sit underneath and sometimes they're like a call and response answer. Um, as we go through this, if there's anything that you're, that you're um, thinking doesn't sound good or you're like oh I don't like that or you have a suggestion or a question I'd be very happy to hear it this is not a um uh well it absolutely isn't autonomy but I, I've certainly be interested to hear if somebody's like oh it sounds like the symbols are over compressed or it sounds like the vocal is a bit too dry or whatever I'd, I'd like to hear that because um you know it's interesting to get perspectives right so I'm going to do a quick automation Hmm, how do we do this? Um, I'm just trying to decide really whether to automate the backing vocal bus like this, you know, turning it down and up, or whether to do gain changes here because this will affect all of them. Let's do, let's try it here because we ain't got much time. Tell me come here, but it's so hard to decide to let go of fear, just imagine if it's all in my kiss I swear I it. Is there a delay on them? I'm hearing a delay my kiss I swear Ah, there it is. Just on one side. So Well that makes that don't make no sense. Okay, no send. No send. If we need reverb, we'll add it. Imagine if it's all in my we do need it though. Let's use that same Valhalla 
Reverb. Imagine if it's all in my head and you rejected my kiss. I swear I dropped it. So it just provides a little uh, cushion for it to sit on. My kiss. In context. Rejected my kiss. Because you've got the reverb on the lead vocal, so that has a little trail. It's very, very subtle, but it has a little trail. Um, so if the BVs are dry, they it doesn't kind of they don't gel as well together. I feel like again we need a, a bit of a uh, delay. I know I just took it off there, but it's going to be very, very subtle. Uh, dotted eighth notes. Let's go ping pong. Why not? Rejected my kiss. I swear I dropped. Rejected my kiss. I swear I. Let's not do ping pong. Rejected my kiss. I swear. Rejected my kiss. I swear. Rejected my kiss. I swear I dropped it. So would you give me something I could work with? Just a little sigh. That that electric guitar sounds a bit beep boo beep boo. Um, where is it? I think my mum's watching. Hi, mum. Keep an eye out for the door. Rejected my kiss. I swear. Work with just a little sigh. Something weird's happening. Oh yeah, okay, so we don't I uh, need a different reverb for this. <laughs> yeah. Uh but oh, actually I know, yeah. Valhalla Supermassive. This is new. Tiago suggested this one. See what it sounds like. vocals weren't we imagine if it's all in my head and you rejected my kiss i swear i dropped it so would you give me something i could work with just a little sigh because i just want to know you think i'm worth it and not wasting my This is a gain, gainy one. Cause I just wanna know you think I'm worth it, and not wasting my, my time. Give me, give me, give me, baby, give me a clue. Am I? Give me, give me, give me, baby. 
Gimme baby Gimme 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 Okay, I'm gonna do something fancy here. Um, we're gonna put another send on here. It's gonna be that uh, super massive reverb thing that we had before. And I'm gonna automate how much we send to it. Um, So we can whack some uh, giant reverb for some lines if we want. Only feel the worst. But I'll tell you how I feel about So You feel it too I feel it too the If was a bit, a bit uh, what's the word, transient. If you, if you go first, you can kind of hear the compressor grabbing it. If you go, um, which is why it's good to be able to have the compression after the automation, so we can send less to the compression compressor. If you go first. Sounds crap now. If you go first, if you go first. Okay, yeah, the compressor is not responding quickly enough. If you go first, if you go first, or is it too quick? If you go first, I'll follow suit. If you go first, I'll follow suit. Cause I'm about to burst. Keep a list for If you go first, I'll follow suit. Cause I'm about to burst. Keep a list for you. Okay, so this was just, uh, this is quite a slow compressor, which means it doesn't grab hold of the front of the note. Uh, very quickly um, and it releases slowly too so uh, when the vocals up and down it, it sort of maybe doesn't always uh, keep up this is this is why I'm changing these speeds here this is much quicker much cleaner anyway let's see how it sounds if you go first I'll follow suit cuz I'm about okay let's look at this again taking all the compression off So it is all over the show dynamically, which means I'm going to manually do it. If you go, f if you go, f if you go first, a bit much. If you go first, I'll follow suit. I'll, I'll follow. If you go first, if you go first, I'll follow suit. Cause I'm about. I'll follow suit. Cause I'm about to burst. About to burst. Keep on this. Wow, that's quiet. Just gonna have to gain that up. 
because we've run out of room to boost it. Oh, that's so weird. Who was mixing this? Were they drunk? Bell to burst, keeping this for me. I love that bass. Well, do -do 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 -do. Don't know who that was. Keeping this for me. I'm on fire tonight. All right, I think we're just going to end up ultimating the whole vocal. We've got 15 minutes. Shh. Shame. We haven't got much more time left. Keeping this for me. I'm on fire tonight. Okay, yeah, this needs to come off here. <laughs> Boink. Right, a quick automation of the lead vocal. Let's do it. Your big brown eye. Super quick. go down for her nap well i'll take that this may not it may not be the most riveting uh thing to be watching and maybe that's ideal maybe that's a new angle mixing sessions for kids watch this it, i i would have loved it when i was little i think i'm glad to have been of service <laughs> thank you for watching and uh sleep sleep well Aaron. have a nice nap do you have any set BMPs for live track? I think you mean BPM, uh, beats per minute. Um, set tempos? No. No, no. Whatever tempo she brings it uh, in with is the tempo that we stick with. Um, well, I, I will suggest changes. We'll, we'll experiment with it sometimes. Uh, but no, no, nothing set. No, usually weird numbers, you know, 73s and 
Yeah, we try and I try and keep it to whole numbers, not point fives. But uh, yeah, no, we don't have any. It's not like it's not like dance music where you're like this is like a one twenty five kind of thing or the one thirty or you know drum and bass is all between you know one sixty and one seventy or what or I don't know if that's right, but um, yeah, no. But I'll tell you how I feel about you if you go first. So what I want to do here is basically get the vocal a bit more leveled off. If you go first, I'll follow suit because I'm about to burst. Keeping this from you, I'm on fire tonight for way too much rain. Thank you. It it is interesting, I suppose, uh, but it it's not something that you can just do very quickly. Um, so it does take time. Um, but uh, oh, I hope it's useful. Need to get a little bit more gain out of that section because it's too quiet. So this isn't going to be perfect, uh, but when when we turn the compressors back on, hopefully they will that will, will be close enough that they'll be working a bit more smoothly. So where the vocal gets quieter here, I'm, I'm turning up the volume to try and make that note eat a little more even. I love those BBs there. Just a little sign. Oh. It's very uh, causey. The cause. The cause. Esque. So, would you give me something I could work with? Just a little sign. Oh, cause I just wanna know you think I'm worth it. 
could get away with this. Just whizzing along. Oh, God, running out of time. I'm not going to get there, but we're going to get this done. Give me, give me, give me, baby, give me. Oh, hi, Danielle. Nice to see you. Danielle, uh, I recently uh, did a, a whole EP for Danielle, uh, Daniel Nichols, the Daniel Nichols Band. And uh, it was a real privilege and joy to work with her on those songs. It's kind of, uh, how would you say, it's kind of like folky, jazzy, acoustic, electronic pop. There's a bit of like Latin in there, like a bit of bossa nova -y type stuff as well. Um, is that fair to say? I don't know how you characterize it, but she's a great singer. And uh, feel free to plug the uh, the release if you've got a release date for it. Now that I finally mixed it. Okay, so that needs to need to compensate for that. I completely crazy or do you feel it too? I've grown to care too much and that's some dodgy dodgy mic technique here. Grown to care too much This is painstaking. I know it takes a while, but it's so worth it. And it really makes a huge difference to the, um, uh, to how easy the rest of the track is to mix. If the vocal sits right, then everything else falls into place. Sort of. I remember asking Liv to record this. I was like, do it really bluesy and really edgy. I'll tell you how I feel about you. Feel about you. I'll tell you how I feel about you. Just made me want to buy my own music. Thanks for the plug. Well, feel free to plug it. Danielle's lovely. Danielle teaches yoga. She's a great singer. Great songwriter. I'll tell you how I feel about you if you You should buy your own music. Actually no, because you've already it's already cost you enough to make it. Boy is not cheap. I feel about you if you go Okay, right, so bang, let's put the uh, compression back on it. Maybe we need less compression now. Your big brown eyes Tell me come here But it's so hard to decide to Let go of it Cause just imagine if it's All in my head And you rejected my kiss I swear 
I dropped it So would you give me something I could work with Just a little side Cause I just wanna know you think I'm worth it And not wasting my My time Give me, give me, give me baby Give me a clue Am I completely crazy Or do you feel it too I've grown to care too much And now I only Feel the worst But I'll tell you how I feel about you Okay, I like how the vocal tits The drums sound fine to me uh, let's just keep playing through and see what needs to be done now. If you go first, I'll follow. First is just disappearing a bit. If you go first, if you go first, why am I having so much trouble with this? If you go first, if you go first. You go first. If you go first, I'll follow suit. Cause I'm about to burst. Keeping this from you. I'm a fire tonight. For way too much red. And I'm afraid that I might say something I would do. So could you let me know if I'm. Follow suit, cause I'm about to burst. Keeping this from you, I'm on fire tonight. From way too much red, and I'm afraid that I might say something I regret. So, could you let me know if I'm away or, or just where the light? Cause it'd be nice to get a little heads up if I'm gonna wanna. reverb on here maybe for this
כן. we need to do with this solo to make it sit a bit better if you go Acoustic. Uh, yeah, there's only one apparently. It looks like a copy and paste job. Crank the overheads for the solo a little bit. So would you give me something I can the hell was that? A bit more tambourine as well. That last note is a bit piercing, so I'm gonna. So would you give me some? a bit much just a little sign so that's a question and answer bit so that we need a little bit more volume from the bb's there just a little tempting but i won't just a little oh because i just want to know you think i'm worth it now i Is a bit too bendy, I think. Give me, give me, give me, baby, give me a clue, and I can put. No. 
No, silly. That's silly. Can't can't be doing that. Apologies. Conscious of just sitting here. Like, what is it? A M A D S M R A M A M S D R. What's that thing? Where people they they're just really super close. So when we're mixing music, it's really important. <laughs> that sort of thing. Dumb. Anyway, all right. Is it me or could the snare use a little bit of uh, top end on it? I think it could. Right, uh, well, let's see. Quite a lot of hi-hat on that snare, so if we add top, we'll end up bringing out the hi-hat more. And that is the joy of samples because we can just crank the top end on just the snare and it won't affect anything else. Yes. So I went to add someone to the uh, snare microphone, and indeed I had already done that. So I just want to bring the overheads up for that outro section. Uh, if you go Alex is back. Hope you got the kids off. Apparently I'm good at sending children to sleep. So, you know. You should have just made them watch it on individual uh, devices as well to get my view count up. <laughs> oh, this is nice. Right. BV levels. Let's go back to that. Um... So the blue level is that uh, big reverby thing and uh, that big clangy delay and the yellow is the volume. If you go
just going to say, don't laugh at the waveforms, guys. Come on, be grown up. Tell you how I feel about you. 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 If you go Okay, now we're going to do something similar with the Liv's vocal. Let's try and just dip, get this done in under two hours. Um, right, so we're going to put delay on the lead vocal and just basically mix it in a little bit here and there uh, for the sections where it is needed. Uh, I love this. There's a preset on here and it is called... It's called something like Ambient Echoes. Come on, man. Hold on, reverb and spaces, there it is. So it sounds like this. If I'm gonna wanna run and hide Give me, give me, give me, baby, give me a clue Am I complete? Completely over the top. However, there will be places for it. Maybe. We'll see. If you go first, Definitely not I'll here, though. Soon, cause I'm about to burst. Keeping this for you. I'm a fire tonight. For way too much red. And I'm afraid that I might say something I would do. Let me know if I'm way off or just way out of line. I don't want to use that preset. Actually, I want to just use a memory man ping pong. Sounds like this. I Way too much. Uh, dotted eighths and straight fourth notes, quarter notes. No, not liking that either. Um, Okay, so that sounds uh, that sounds more musical, like more like it goes with the with the track. There's obviously way too much of it, but that's not the point at the moment.
again mate yep i thought you were i thought you were already getting on it what's going on with this it's getting all loosey-goosey i think i have like a fundamental misunderstanding of the design of these microphone uh, clips because i can just never I'm never quite sure if I've got it stable. Um, get on it, mate. Get get on the writing front. Um, right, I'm going to keep whizzing through. Uh, just looking. Just going to look at the, uh, the vocal effects as we go through. Um, and as I'm listening to the whole thing as we go and then just... Uh, kind of like keeping one ear on the vocal and then one ear on other things and as they come up uh, I'll just tweak them If you go first I'll follow suit cuz I'm about to burst Okay, I quite like the way there's echo if you go for on the first line, but then it needs to go away again. If you go first, I'll follow suit cuz I'm about to Yeah, so we don't need it for I'll follow suit, but we do want it on it. If you go first, I'll follow suit cuz I'm about to burst. Keeping this for you. I'm a fire tonight for wait I'll follow suit cuz I'm about to burst keeping this for me I'm a fire tonight for way too much red and I'm afraid that I might say something I would say so could you let me know if I'm away Vocal's quite intimate though, just we align. So I'm not gonna add anything here, but there's a kind of a crescendo that comes in this next bit in the pre-chorus. So I think we might wallop some delay on there. where it drops down we don't really need the delay on the vocal because it's kind of just is it uh distracting I 
So for that, this little breakdown, we don't want delay. But it would be nice to have a bit of reverb. So we create another automation uh, lane. We're going to go Valhalla, mix. Valhalla is the reverb. So if we turn the mix up. It's not the right reverb for that. So let's delete the reverb, the automation information across the nation. And um, <laughs> we are going to have to make it. Vintage for four seconds. Modern uh, ambience. We'll see. Completely crazy, or do you feel it too? I've grown to care too much, and now I only feel the worst. But I'll tell you how I feel about you. That's not right. Okay, smooth plate. Let's try that instead. Give me, give me, give me, baby, give me a clue. Am I completely crazy or do you feel it too? That's a bit more like it. So we've got none of that for the for the song up to this point. I'm, give me, give me.
Sounds like a tam- sounds like a tambourine hitting the floor at the end there. Where are we? Probably need to a bit more out of that final crash. Let's be bold and turn the guitars up for that ending because there's nothing else happening. A bit of the, uh, where are we? So there's that one there. Ah. It's just nice to bring bring these details out wherever wherever they are. It's when there's not much else going on, why not? doing how's this stream looking oh man our internet connection is on point today zero dropped fr frames or zero percent 78 frames in two hours brilliant thank you okay so i think we're getting there um it's probably time to finish up let's have a one more playthrough i'm gonna stick a uh, bit of glue on the master bus to see just to give it that kind of um See how it sounds with like a ah, let's not use that. Um, let's use the big boy one. This thing, it's amazing, right? Uh, make it nice and loud. Okay, then that's not right. Uh, oh, big brown eyes, tell me come here, but it's so hard to decide. Let go of fear, just imagine it. Okay, which which one is that? Uh, okay. Oh, just when you thought we were nearly there. Nope. Oh, I must have been automating the wrong one all of this time. And oh, no, look, there it is. It should be on zero. Tell me, come here. Brown eyes, tell me come here, but it's so hard to decide. Let go of fear, just imagine if it's all in my head, and you rejected my kiss. I swear I dropped it. So, would you give me something I could work with? Just a little side. 
bit too bright. Liv Austin hadn't re subscribed to my YouTube channel. That is outrageous. After everything, after everything I've done for you. No, it's fair enough. Why would you? For oh, Other than to catch these streams. Well, I hope you've now done it, so thank you. We're nearly there. Listen, this is the original mix. And this is where we are now. Cause I'm about to burst Keeping this from you I'm on fire tonight For way too much red And I'm afraid that I might Say something I'll regret So could you let me know if I'm away or, or just where the light Cause it'd be nice to get a little heads up If I'm gonna wanna Okay, so the BVs just sound a little bit bright there, a little bit shrill. So I'm just going to put a dynamic EQ uh, on the backing vocal bus. Uh, well, I'm going to try it anyway. So a dynamic EQ is a, an EQ that responds to the material. So if you, uh, well, I'll show you. So we'll have a look at what we're getting here. Cause I just wanna know you think I'm worth it Now it's in my life Now it's in my time Worth it Now it's in my life Now it's in my time Oh, cause I just wanna know you think I'm worth it Now it's in my life Now it's in my time So what it does is when uh, a certain frequency goes above a certain level, it will pull it pull it back. Well, that's what we're trying to achieve here. But as I'm hearing it in isolation, I'm thinking it might actually just be uh, the actual part itself. So I think we can just pull these back a wee bit.
Thanks, Hayden. Nice to see you, mate. Sounds so good. Uh uh. So if you did buy this uh, after the stream last night, you can uh, just get in touch with Liv and she'll uh, sort you out with a link. So it is going to be available to buy with the previous version, which you're not going to want now. That's for sure. Uh, well, in my opinion, maybe uh, maybe you'll prefer the sound of it, but I doubt it. Um, but yes, if you did already buy the um, You Go First and whatever the other song was, uh, you can um, you can get a copy of this. Uh, just get in touch with Liv. Uh, but after today, once I've, once I've finished this, if you buy it after today, you'll get all three. You'll get this version as well. Right. Give me, give me, give me, baby, give me a clue. Am I completely crazy or do you feel it too? I've grown to care too much and now I only... gone black i wonder if it's uh it's probably just the camera's overheated uh let's um because it's been going for two hours it might be the battery let me try and change the battery We back, y'all. Cool, thank you for letting me know. How's that? Okay, where are we? Um, oof, monster stream. What a monster. DC Brown, thanks. Uh, sounds good. Hi, Hayden. Um, don't forget to click the bell. Oh yeah, click the bell. So yeah, on the uh, YouTube. Oh man, if you want to subscribe to me on YouTube, that would be great. You're not going to get much in the way of uh, WB. WB. Hmm. Uh, yeah, if you like and subscribe, it's not going to make a big difference, but it all makes a difference, doesn't it? So I've got a paltry number of subscribers at the moment. So if you'd like to subscribe, you'll get a you'll you'll just see when I post a video, which will probably be live stuff or other musical stuff. So if you're enjoying this, then um, yeah, give us a hit, smash that like button, smash it uh, if you are so inclined. Right, where are we? Um, so what what this plugin here is. Uh, it's a really, really nice EQ from IK, IK Multimedia. So I've got it in mid-side mode, which means that when you hit mid... So mid-side is um, where the you are EQing the middle and the sides separately. So the middle is like the mono signal, and the sides are the stuff that's strictly on the sides and not in the centre. So uh, it's quite useful... Um, it's quite nice, actually. It's quite a nice effect. You can kind of bring up the highs that are on the sides and they'll be all kind of like uh, sparkling and nice uh, out wide without making the center image, all the S's and T's and all that sort of thing, without making that too bright. 
So you can leave the center really, really solid and you can make the, the, the sides just a little bit wider. Um, I, I really, I really like it. I like using it, especially when you've got like acoustic guitars and stuff, double tracked, you can like just push the sides up. Okay, dokie then. And this thing, this uh, Vice DS1 is a really lovely compressor limiter. So basically, um, this just kind of brings the level up. As you all have heard, it's now pretty loud. Let's let's try and let's try and finish this off. Uh, yep, yeah, here we go. Obviously, I have to send this to Liv and get her approval on it, but uh, so we'll see. But this should, with a bit of luck, this will be the version that uh, you guys get. So what I'm finding now is uh, listening through speakers uh, instead of through headphones is that the reverb levels uh, on the vocal are a bit low. Uh, the things sit very differently coming through the speakers, so um, oh, which is to be expected. Um, uh, for a number of reasons. So uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna turn the mic off for a bit and mix through the speakers for just uh, make some tweaks and uh, uh, I won't talk too much for the next uh, five minutes if that your big brown eyes tell me come here but it's so hard to decide to let go of fear just imagine if it's all in my head and you rejected my kiss so would you give me something I could work with? Just a little side. Cause I just wanna know you think I'm worth it. Keeping this from you I'm on fire tonight 
for way too much red And I'm afraid that I might say something I regret So could you let me know if I'm away or just way out of line? Right, so what I've, what I've been doing there 
is just going uh is just checking out the low end because uh, i want to put the sub on here hopefully that didn't sound chaotic for you hopefully that all made you should have just been hearing it uh, as normal um but i've had the uh, the speakers on in the room here with the sub on as well and uh, what i found was that the kick drum was extremely subby really really bassy and uh the bass guitar was was very loud as well so um just correcting those uh those things uh again it's much harder to he uh, to tell that stuff uh, with with headphones particularly these although they're very uh, very detailed they don't have that kind of low end real sort of subby stuff so yeah um uh, so let's have another listen Gonna measure the loudness as well. Your big brown eyes tell me come here, but it's so hard to decide. To let go of figures, just imagine if it's all in my head and you rejected my kiss. I swear I dropped it. So would you give me something I could work with? pretty happy with that uh, i'm gonna leave it there um thank you hayden thanks very much for watching thanks for your lovely comment uh yeah so again like to compare um it's getting a little bit brighter and poppier just as we as i look at that kind of output eq and cleaning up that low end a little bit but again if we compare it to the uh, original When you go from when you when you go from the um, 
uh, when you go from the original, which is much, much brighter, you go back to it, it sounds dull by comparison. Um, and it may be that it, it does need a little bit of brightening up in the master. I'm going to save it here. Thank you for the reminder. I'm going to save it here uh, and uh, come back to it maybe later on today and uh, get a version and just, just do any final little tweaks and stuff once I've had a little break. And then this is going to be available uh, from Live. I think it's from the website. Uh, or you can just get in touch with us on social media or whatever if you want to get hold of it. Lots of love. Thank you for watching. i um, going to call it a day. Don't have any outro music, so the stream is just going to abruptly stop. But... Um, Thank you very much for watching. Uh, it's been uh, it's been nice to see you all here. Sounds good, but what does the client think? Liv Austin, should we get her in here? She's just going to say it sounds great, isn't she? she you know, I'll I'll get her to her to have a we'll have some critical listening um, maybe this afternoon, and um, yeah, we'll um, uh, hopefully um, have a version that we that we get up for you um, later today, um, probably on her website. Is it? I don't know. Just message us on social media uh, if uh, if you're struggling with that okay thank you once more it's been it's been lovely and I uh, hope you all have lovely Saturdays over and out ciao bye bye bye